Today we are going to learn how to become an expert in handling Postmaster with such errors like problem in database mail to be exiting the system and secondly how to recreate user in your Postmaster. As you can see that while we were trying to start the Postmaster we received such kind of error which normally happens due to users uh, interruption with the Postmaster server machine. Now how to overcome this error? For that the first basic step that you have to look for is to check whether the MySQL service is running at the back end of your Postmaster server. This is my MySQL and it has been running. Given that the first step has been successfully uh, observed for your Postmaster, the next step that you have to do is just right click on the MySQL service and select the properties. Here you copy the path where your MailDB of your Postmaster is being located. Control C. Now you, since you have copied the path, I'm going to paste it on the text path. You can do it on uh, notepad or wordpad. Now what you have to do is you have to go to the specific path till bin. And how to achieve that? So we have to open the command prompt window. Alright. Now since we have opened the command prompt window, before that you can shut down your postmaster. Now open the text pad and get the command prompt. So let's go to this path till bin. All right. Once you are there, now you have to put this command that is mysql check space hyphen u root space hyphen p root space hyphen capital A R and click on enter. So this command repairs the tables that you have got in your mysql database. As you can check that with every table there is OK sign that is all these tables are in the OK state. Now once this has been verified I will close this window and start my postmaster. Alright, so the postmaster has started. So this is the way how you can overcome this error of your mail DB which comes in your postmaster. Secondly, now we will check how to recreate a user. For example, if you have gotten any error like uh, problem in retrieving message or error in mail store, uh, store uh, exiting the system, you can either run the MySQL check that we have just shown you or if you want to individually recreate a user, what are the steps that has to be followed. Let's close this window. Now you have to go to the folder where your postmaster files are there. So open file location. Once you are under the root folder of your postmaster you have to go to shared utils and copy the bat file which is called PME RCRT user. This is the one. You copy the bat file from here and go to your root folder of your postmaster and paste it over there. Once you paste it edit the file. Before editing the file what you have to do is you have to shut down your postmaster. Now the error that I have shown you was for the user Xavier. Now so I'll recreate the user Xavier. Edit the bat file. scroll down over here as you can see username you have to just remove that username and put the name of the user for whom you want to recreate 
that is the only user name Xavier that's it you don't have to put the full email name like Xavier at the red uh, example dot com or uh, Xavier at the red your domain name you don't have to do that you have to just put the user name that is before your at domain sign now once it is done you have to save the file and run the file do remember that you have to do this kind of thing only after you have shut down your postmaster so it is asking for press any key to continue so it has been done now let's click again and exit the system let's run our postmaster All right. Now let's log in with the user in our postmaster. Let's refresh. There was only one mail. Let's click on it and just check whether we are able to see the content. Yes, we are. So this is how you can recreate any user in your postmaster as well. hope this two things that we have uh, showed you via our videos was very interesting and will definitely make you an expert in handling other uh, postmaster uh, issues relevant to all this uh, errors that you get in case again if you fa uh, face any problem uh, in executing such kind of uh, uh, commands and all we are always there for you do write to us at support@qlc.in or give us a call back thank you